so many players benefited mm -hmm. from D Rose's injury. The one who benefited the most besides LeBron, because obviously LeBron mm -hmm. not going to eight straight finals mm -hmm. if D Rose in the conference. I'm sorry, even mm -hmm. even if he go to seven, he's still missing one of them. Mm -hmm. It's Steph Curry. Reason being is. D Rose was set up to be the face of the league at the point guard position. Well, the face of the league. Well, he always kind of was the face of the league once he won MVP. Like once he won, well, I mean, okay, not, not nah. okay, not over LeBron. Not over Kobe LeBron. was still there too. Yeah, but I mean, but okay, I'll put it this way: top five MVP voting that year was LeBron, Kobe, uh, Dwight, uh, Derrick Rose, and Kevin Durant. So Derrick Rose at twenty two put himself in that conversation. You was thinking about KD. And D Rose as those next guys that were gonna be the new phase of the league. Okay, like Braun when Braun get up there in age, Kobe gonna be going a little yeah. while. We got KD and we got D Rose. Yeah. Every single point guard right now would be in D Rose's shadow. All of them. Yeah. Even the endorsement stuff is getting. He not getting them endorsements with D Rose in the league. Who giving him them endorsements? When D Rose goes down, it 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 leaves a huge vacant hole. So that somebody has to feel. Mm -hmm. And Steph, now granted, you have to be good. Not taking nothing away from the man. You have to be good. But he was in the, he, we had it in the um, group text earlier. I don't know if you can name a superstar who got luckier than Steph. I don't know if you can name one. I mean, but Steph also was, I mean, he was injured as well, though. And I he think was. That, and I think that that's a, a point that a lot of people will make. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think this whole Steph Curry wouldn't exist. That tweet, I think that tweet was number one. It was terribly worded. I don't worded. think it was, just terribly it, was, it was. It was terribly worded. It was terribly worded, which is part of the reason probably why people took as much offense to it. It had you just like prefaced with what you followed up with it after you thought like, oh shit, everybody's about to kill me for this on the internet. When you came back and followed, like if you would have included that second tweet in the first tweet. Or the sec or the first line of that second tweet as your first line, it would have made the whole thing sound different. Not a but the way was, you made it sound was as if like because Derrick Rose got hurt, Steph Curry wouldn't exist. He wouldn't. Not as we know him. The Steph Curry we know does not exist. He don't have them MVPs and he don't have them rings. Also, what people don't realize is they still drafted Jimmy Butler. It wasn't like they drafted Jimmy in the top of the draft. They drafted Jimmy in the lottery. Mm -hmm. So assuming that Jimmy still becomes the player that he becomes, as and then he probably has more of a defensive focus. And maybe, and maybe he doesn't think the same way because D Rose is the supreme supplanted leader of the team. D Rose not hurt. You know, you come in that locker room is D Rose team. Also, you gotta look at the Melo situation, the Melo factor. Remember in 2013, I think when Melo had resigned with the Knicks, the two teams he was considering was the Knicks and the Bulls. Now, granted that we say Melo didn't want to leave New York, he didn't want to leave the money on the table. But I think a lot of the situation was you had questions about D Rose health. And even if Melo don't come, if you get a healthy D-Rose and they got cat room, somebody coming. Somebody coming. Which is why I think Steph, I, I, I don't think he revolutionizes the NBA because to revolutionize, you have to win. I yeah. think that we would still be saying a jump shooting team can't win if D-Rose didn't go down. We would still be saying that. Still be saying that. You would still be saying what? A jump shooting team can't win if D-Rose doesn't go down. Because even if Steph gets to the finals, I don't think he takes down D Rose. I don't either. I don't think he takes down D Rose. No, no, no. I even think, if you I put think Tom Clay, if you, if you put Tom Thibodeau is going to scheme for them so hard. Draymond, Draymond is not going to be that effective against against Noah. Uh, against Noah, Noah. No, Noah will get him kicked out of the game. Noah yeah. and Taj get him kicked out of the game. Yeah, and yeah, before you fix your lips to be, I mean, to smack him, Noah was a top five in MVP voting yes. uh, before uh, yes. after Derrick Rose got hurt. Yes. So stop disrespecting yes. that man. Yes. Yes, Noah. I, Noah, I think she get his jersey retired um, when he uh, retires with the Bulls. Yeah, I think. I think him, him, D Rose and Dang, and Lou Ding. And, and yeah. you got these bonehead ass old white guys on TV talking about Derrick Rose on Derrick giving his, his that was, jersey that, retired. That was. That was, that was, yeah, I don't, you know that was what? I, you know that was very disrespectful. I didn't even like the. I didn't even like the way that they talked the, about yeah, it. Yeah, the tone I didn't even like the tone that was they talked about. It. I might disrespect D Rose because D Rose do some bonehead. But I don't talk about. It. I didn't even like the tone at which there they was a Bulls about. writer who came in our mention that was like, ah, oh, yeah. like you are a f Bulls writer. Yeah. You sat there and watched that man do that firsthand every night. The f are you talking about? Well, he probably wasn't watching that much basketball. Go get your merch. Watch more basketball. Hashtag drink more beer. I don't but think only if you're twenty one. I don't think that Steph Curry would have those two MVPs. I think that he got those. I, I, which is why his rise is so. Hold on. Yeah. Which is why his rise is so meteoric because it's like you weren't expecting it. It came out of nowhere because there was a hole. The hole was D Rose being hurt. D. What well, that's twenty D one's first twenty fifteen. Mm -hmm. D Rose would have been twenty five. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me a guy who won MVP at twenty two not gonna get no more MVPs. 
on a team that's that's go, that's, that's going to be a top three team in the conference. D Rose benefited. Weren't they? Didn't they have the best record in the NBA that year? That he won MVP. Yeah, I think so. I think so. They won. Yeah, I think they went sixty and twenty-two. Yeah. I think, if I'm not mistaken. Sixty and twenty-two. And then the next year was the uh, lockout season, which kind of threw things off because because the lockout season was the next year. Lockout season weird. The lockout season, season might honestly might have benefited the Bulls at that point in time. Why? Why? Because it was just such a shortened season that if Derrick Rose will stay healthy, because he no, because he got hurt in the first round of that playoff, yeah, right? But yeah, the thing about it is he was banged up that whole year. Yeah, I know, but he, but, he had but, to, but bro, that's because Tom Thibodeau. Was playing him for his career. He played thirty seven minutes, thirty six point eight, thirty seven point four, thirty five point three. Jesus Christ! But he had to. Like, if you look at that roster, who's the other scoring option on that team? There is no other scoring option. And I mean, I mean, dang, but dang can't do a role like you. Steph Curry played thirty seven minutes once, and that was in 2012-2013. with Mark Jackson, right? Uh, yes. And wasn't he hurt that year? Uh, Isn't that when his ankles messing up? No, nah, he played. No, no, no. He was hurt the year before. Okay. Okay. He was hurt the year before. Okay. But again, that being that, him being down leaves a huge hole in the market, which is why also another guy who I think benefited hugely, Paul George. Oh yeah, Paul. We we yeah. we, 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 we yeah. wouldn't be having no Paul George gonna take on LeBron conversation if D Rose is healthy. Yeah, Indiana oh, yeah. not they would have no been beat, team. The, the Bulls would have been beating the dog shit. Yeah, out of out, out of um out of um out of um Indiana. Russ is also the Bulls was beating the dog out of seventy sixes when he got hurt. When he got hurt. Well, they won't be. They was he was he was up. They they were up twelve. Come on, that game was well out of hand. It was out of hand. He should now he, him being in the game wasn't the reason he got hurt. But he shouldn't have been in that goddamn yes, game. Yes, but no, no. Now, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait, wait. Flip wait, this wait, table. Wait, 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 wait. Look, listen. I'm gonna flip this hold table over. Hold on, listen. Don't make no excuses listen, for why Derrick Rose listen, in that game, G. Listen, no, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Listen, you just said he was banged up all year. Why you gotta be in the game? Listen, listen, listen. It's game one of a playoff series. Sometimes teams want to come out and send a clear message that, especially when you're the one in the eight, you want to come out and send a message, you don't have a chance and you have no chance. He played 37 minutes that night. Why? It was like a minute they left. They was in up the- by 12. It's a minute he left. Still, you on. played 37 minutes. Yes, Why are you on the look, floor? Yes, no. Look, listen, listen, listen. No, listen, you listen. shouldn't have been on the floor. Listen, listen, listen. listen. Even, even in that situation, you could say, Derek, why are you going to the basket that hard? Pass the ball. Come on, man. I, look, I, look I'm, 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 if he not on the floor, you don't even. You're not even. We're not even talking about. I'm just this. saying, I'm not gonna blame Tears for having. I, I'm, I'm blaming him. Been, I've been blaming him ever is, since D Rose got hurt and they put that goddamn Lion King man <laughs> meme on that man. I will never forgive Twitter for that. I will never forgive you guys for putting that goddamn Lion King meme on there. I remember Rose. that shit. That was disrespectful. I remember that. That was so disrespectful. But, but, um, and even like Russ. I think that when D Rose goes, that D D Rose was showcasing a different type of athleticism. Even in at that moment in time, we would we were talking about Russ, but the conversations about Russ didn't really spark up until after D Rose went down. Yeah. Because now, who's the most athletic point guard, or like who's the point guard that you think is going to be the next guy to supplant uh, D Rose at that point in time is Russell Westbrook. You're even not looking even at thinking within that, Russ. two years later, Russell Westbrook and Kevin Ter- Durant are in the NBA Finals. Yeah. I mean, it, it very quite possibly could have been then, been Derrick Rose and Russell Westbrook in that NBA we Finals. We supposed you know to have I mean? a D Rose, Katie going at it era for yeah. at least like two, three, four years. This was like Steph Curry. When I look around the league and point a microscope and see who benefited the most from D Rose's injury, Steph Curry. D Rose, I, I, I legit do not think people understand how much D Rose's ACL changed the history of basketball. It changed the entire course of the league. LeBron get to go to eight straight finals. Yeah, even no, no, no. Look, even the year when the year when Derrick Rose didn't play, um, that was Steph Curry's first year um, scoring twenty two a game. And everybody gonna say he had 2016 and whatever when the first game they played when they was a rookie. I can find you games of Mitch Richmond giving Michael Jordan buckets. Do that mean that night by night the other 80 nights that Mitch Richmond better than Michael Jordan? No. No, <laughs> no it does not. No. A lot of people give people buckets. It happens. I can find you video of Gordon Hayward sending LeBron James home with a game winner. But the other 81 nights of the season, who you finna take? Who? What that mean? We don't even know what was going on. The man might have turned his ankle first quarter. We don't know what happened. Did you watch the whole game? I mean, I didn't see the whole game. I mean, I saw the highlights, but it's I mean, the highlights. He was, I mean, he, was, he was hooping them to the moon, though. It's the highlights. You don't, you don't know what the hell going on. Come on, get out of here. The highlights. <laughs> get out of here. We should know. What, 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 wait, what do we always talk about? People who watch highlights but don't watch the whole game. Yeah. So you don't. I, we, I, I mean, I'm not going to sit there. I mean, I, I haven't. I don't remember watching the whole game to remember what exactly happened. And also, 
And also the other thing is when Steph Curry, okay, I'll put it this way. He would be well, in no, the wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. In 20 in, in 20 um in 2010, 2011, Steph Curry was 22 years old. Steph Curry averaged 18.6 points per game, 5.8 assists, 3.9 total rebounds. When Derrick Rose was 22 years old, guess what he did? He won the <laughs> MVP. So shut your ass up.